no idea. This is our National American Board Goat Association show. We have one every year, and this is our first year in Nebraska. This will run for five days. We started showing today, and we will run through Saturday. We start from zero to three and go up to 36 plus months. We had 316 entries, so that's just one person. Then you count the families and friends that come with to help do this. Everybody loves the facility. It's, it's clean, it's roomy, um, it's cool, and that works real well with us. We go to West Monroe, Louisiana. We've been in Duncan, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, Louisville, Kentucky, and then usually we go back to um, West Monroe, Louisiana. There is somebody probably here from just about every state except probably Alaska and Hawaii. But there are boar goats in Alaska and Hawaii. We do have them registered in them states. We originated out of South Africa. They were brought to the United States to Texas in 93 and we started the association in 1994. This is our 20th year anniversary. This is probably one of our biggest shows that we have done for exhibitors, juniors, and the open show. We have a lot of activities for the kids. They have to do a, um, presentations to the board, and it teaches them a, a lot of responsibility. They start as at four years old. So we have four-year-olds that will show, and then we have showmanship classes, and we have a peewee class, a junior class, an open, a, a junior class, and then we have the senior class of all showmanship. Come and see what we have. If you've never seen a boar goat, it's an animal that is this big. Everybody looks at goats as being a small little goat. We're the big boys out there. <laughs> and, and the babies are awesome. The people are great. Um, my show string, everybody here has been awesome to us, and it's been great working here. We show the boar goats a lot like they do the dairy goats. They're going to have a chain and then a, a, a lead. Generally, they want a leather lead, and you're going to walk them around the show ring, and then you're going to stand them for the judge to look at, and you want them having to be square with all four feet under their body and with their head up. The first thing you have to do is work with a goat so that it's not scared because you bring them into a place like this and they can get a little freaky. They have to be washed and you're going to condition their hair, you're going to clip them. Uh, lots of people, before they take them in the ring, they're going to put a shine on the horns, which is just like a spray mineral oil. And that's about it. Working with them is the big thing. I've got one that I'm showing, but we got, we got a total of 10 between me and my brother and and the other little artists with us. We used to show dairy cows with my, my aunt, and she got a, she had got a goat, and they were smaller and easier to handle for my mama, and we just got started with them. So I just like doing it. It's something I like to do. I don't know. They all got their own personality. We usually do fairly well. Sometimes we win. Sometimes we, we you can't win them all. I like meeting the new people and. Traveling and I, would, I like traveling. I've been showing for about five years. They're my favorite animals. My two favorite goats are Baby Face and TT, which stands for Tyler's Temptation. We moved here to India from Chicago for my dad, and my mom's birthday present was a goat. And that's what we got started with. And then we, my mom really liked goats, so we just started going on to the farm. We are showing three, my sister Macy and my mom Lori. We wanted something easy and not too big or too small to be able to show, so we chose goats. Everything about it, uh, there's so many nice people around and they'll help you. We have a goat that my sister Macy shows and her name is Miss Skeeter from uh, the movie The Help. We named our goats this year after uh, the pageant queens like Miss Idaho or Miss Illinois or Miss Texas. We have a theme every year. Last year was uh, from the help. I'm with Roger McSwain with RM Ranch, also from Cherubal. We brought seven. He's been raising them since, I don't think, the 90s, 95, 96. He started getting into goats. Great people, you know, fellowship, being around a bunch of good folks. Always been fun. My wife's parents, they, they own East Step Sheep and Goat Supply out of North Carolina. So they sell goat supply. It's just a little bit too far for them to come, but they would be here. And, you know, normally they would be here setting up. So I, I guess I'm going to be in it for a while. So.